my name is Maria de Lourdes Perez Cruz. I am a professor in the Humanities Department of Universidad Modelo in, here in Mérida, Yucatán, Mexico. And what are your main research topics? Well, I'm interested in interactive narratives. Uh, I study the relationship between hypertext as narrative structure in every kind of digital media like video games, website, interact video, or even an app. What is actually hypertext? Yeah, well, uh, the hypertext is a informatic uh, uh, technology. It's the base of the web. Uh, it's changed the way we read stuff. It's a non-SQL uh, structure and um, link information with hyperbingles, uh, electronic hyperbingles. Uh, you have all the, the parts of the history in a big space, so you can choose uh, the one you want in the order you want, so you, you're jumping between text or you're jumping between image or you're jumping between uh, music, a piece of audio, or even a photo, in the order you, you, you want to. You choose the path and you have many options as the author can give you, so you, you choose your own path. You make your version, you, you, your personal version of the story, sorry, and that's very interesting because it's a very democratic way that we can make sense of the stories that other people can share with us. Why are you so passionate about it? Why is it important to know about hypertext in your opinion? Because it helps you to understand how the new narratives works. For example, I, I love video games. I think the video games are uh, new ways of narrative, more complex narrative. The interesting is, it's a kind of, of, of fight between the authors, the team of the authors, and, and you as reader, because they choose how interactive they want to, to make the structure, how often or, or how close, how many control they they going to have and how interactive for you they going to be. What is the freedom you have to change all you are seeing or with all you are interacting. The history of hypertext begins in 1945 after the, the second world war. Uh, uh, a bunch of academic uh, scientists, one of them was Vannevar Bush, he wrote a, a paper called As Way May Think. So he imagined that maybe all the work of all the academics in the world can be in one, in one space. So uh, the hypertext is kind of new, but I think we don't look at it with the attention that deserves because it was a little effort that create all the new way on hypermedia exactly the new way of we can access to new ways to tell our stories how do you think that uh, this uh, this new wave ways of telling stories is changing the relationship between the author and the reader or the author and the player I think is changing in a democratic way and um, I like to think in this new kind of, of, of narrative, on interactive narratives, uh, that the author wanted to challenge you uh, to, to play with all that structure, uh, the kind of structure you can find on the digital uh, media, you know, thanks to, to the to the hypertext. So, absolutely change the way you see now the author, you know, as another player that is playing with you or is giving you a, a, 
some pieces of information that you can find or you can use whatever you want and change the experience because you are taking uh, information he gives you but at the end all you are doing is it's reading at your own way and you are making your uh, experience with the story a personal version of you want to, to do with, with, that, uh, with that information that they, the author provides you. What is the most important lesson that you have learned from your research? Well, I think is that uh, the narrative, the stories, is the most, most human experience. And you can design many ways. The, the, the stories of the humankind are, are very few. They are all uh, uh, written. But you can make many versions of that, maybe seven uh, histories of the humankind, stories of the humankind. You can make many versions as you want, thanks to all the technological or medium development. So I think it's the most interesting thing that you can create a new version of that that story that has been told from the Greeks, no, for example. Do you have a dream for the future? I don't dream about the future, I have to confess. I don't make plans uh, for the years it's going to, to come. I live the moment, I live the day, one by one, I try to do my best. Um, I don't know, it's like a, the, I protect structure. I'm living this note, I'm living this moment and I have many possibilities and I don't know what I'm going to choose because it's different contexts, from dif are different situations. Even I, I experience a different uh, feelings in that very moment that can make me choose something. So I don't make plans. I'm not good making plans. I, I, I just can build a day by a day. Do you have a favorite story? Well, I have a many favorite stories. I love the stories of oh, Jorge Luis Borges. I love all the stories. Uh, but, uh, some of the stories of Julio Cortázar but I have to confess that my favorite story is uh, Cien Años de Soledad, 100 Years of Solitude from Gary Garcia Marquez. That was one of the big uh, novels or the big books that my father gave me when I was a child. And I really love the story of all the, the, the family that are uh, told in that, in that book. What is the most important moment in the book for you? What was the most important scene? What do you remember? What, the, um, what kind of feeling do you remember? Uh, the interesting with 100 years of solitude is an archetypal story from all the Latin America families. So in my personal uh, history family, I recognize some moments of fantasy of some uh, characters that are in the both sides of my family, from my father and my mother. I think that my my uh, favorite moment of, of the story are when Remedios la Bella, Remedios the Beauty, uh, fly to the sky, uh, all surrounded by the 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 blank uh, sheets from the house. You know? That is my, my, my favorite part of, of, of the book. Sometimes I think that I am going to do the same. No? <laughs> I'm going to, to fly to the sky and disappears. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for you. <laughs> thank you.